Michael Bisping says Michael Chandler must respect Conor McGregor. Chandler is confident he'll retire the former two-division champion at UFC 303 in the summer. Former middleweight champion Michael Bisping has warned Michael Chandler not to underestimate Conor McGregor. The two UFC stars are expected to go head-to-head -head at UFC 303 in Las Vegas on the 29th of June. The Irishman hasn't fought since he suffered a nasty break in his trilogy showdown with Dustin Poirier at UFC 264 nearly three years ago. UFC legend Michael Bisping has warned Michael Chandler not to underestimate Conor McGregor. The pair are scheduled to go head-to-head -head at UFC 303 on the 29th of June. The fight was finally confirmed after months of speculation during the UFC 300 post-fight press conference. UFC CEO Dana White confirmed the news, stating that the bout will take place at 170 pounds and be a five-round contest. McGregor had previously indicated a desire to return to action over three rounds, but that apparently won't be the case. McGregor and Chandler have been pitted to fight next ever since appearing as coaches on The Ultimate Fighter Season 31 last year, and will now finally settle the score this summer. The Irishman has not fought since suffering a brutal leg injury in the trilogy showdown defeat to Dustin Poirier at UFC 264 back in 2021, while Chandler has also not stepped foot inside the ring since losing to the same opponent back in 2022. With the two stars set to face off in June, Bisping has issued a warning for the former Bell Ata man. Michael Bisping warns Chandler not to underestimate McGregor. He claims Chandler has to respect what McGregor is going to do. Speaking on his official YouTube channel, Bisping believes that Chandler would be making a big mistake by underestimating McGregor at UFC 303. Whoa, 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 he just said I don't need to get into a fight with a guy that's got a bigger rifle than me, and then he goes on to say, I think I hit harder. So which is it? You cannot be drunk on your own ego. Michael Chandler is an entertainer, whether it's in the ring, whether it's in the post-fight interviews, the fights themselves, the man is a born entertainer. He added, this man should be out there in the WWE, the UFC, whichever promotion he chooses. The man is explosive every single time he fights. He's phenomenal. Win or lose, he shows up. Against Justin Gaethger, against Dustin Poirier, two of the best fights the UFC has ever put on. So, I can't wait for this fight, but he has to respect what McGregor is going to do and the threat that's coming back at him. Chandler believes he will end Conor McGregor's career. He claims time is running out for the Irishman. Chandler is confident that he will deliver on the big stage in Las Vegas this summer when the pair clash at UFC 303. The American recently appeared on the MMA Hour to promote the pay-per-view card on the 29th of June and believes that he'll retire the Irishman. I don't say that with ill will, saying I'm going to retire him, I'm going to put him in a body bag, all these different things. We'll see where he stacks up in the world of the high-class fighters in this division, whether it be 155 or 170. I'm a top-ranked guy. As for McGregor, he has deemed his leg to now be unbreakable and wants to use the titanium in his shin to kick Chandler in the head. The Notorious confirmed his plan when speaking to James Corden on his podcast, This Life of Mine, via the mirror. I am Terminator now, declared McGregor. I have a titanium rod that goes into the knee and down to the bone, right down to my ankle. It's unbreakable, so I have free reign to kick now, so I'm ready to go and I'm excited. I wish for and I will work for landing this kick. 